in the previous section we have seen how to create tasks in project we have seen different types of tasks task modes different ways of creating tasks and different ways of organizing them in most cases the tasks in a project are related to each other and the relationships between them drive the schedule for the project you will find very few tasks in isolation if any at all the relationships between tasks are called task dependencies or task links project offers four kinds of task dependencies finish to start fs start to start ss finish to finish ff and start to finish sf the next step in building a project schedule is to create dependencies that reflect your actual project scenarios let us first see the simplest way in which to create a dependency first select the tasks to be linked here on this screen i have some tasks that we can see being linked in various ways the first two tasks get budget approval and initiate project are syntactically to be linked i will select them both and on the task tab in the schedule section click this icon called link the icon looks like a chain link and does precisely that it creates a dependency between the two tasks you can see that in the gantt chart an arrow mark has appeared from the end of the first task to the start of the second task when you click on the link button it creates a finish to start fs link by default this is the most common type of dependency and is the default type of dependency that project uses in a finish to start dependency the second task in the relationship cannot begin until the first task finishes so in this case the project initiation that is task 2 can start when the budget approval is completed that is task 1 let us now look at the other type of dependencies there is another view that project provides us for conveniently setting a tasks details select task id 4 and click on the view tab now you can see a checkbox called details in the split view section when you turn this checkbox on the task form split window opens up this window can be toggled off or on at any time by going to the details button as shown just now if you get resources and successor here just right click and select predecessor and successor now first confirm in the name box that you are working on the correct task then in the successor name column click to open a drop down box with all the task names select the id 5 task it infra plan for approval once that is done we can click on the type column to select the type of dependency link i will select the start to start dependency this is because these two tasks which require getting approvals from two different departments can start together just to clarify start to start dependencies are used when the second task in the relationship can't begin until after the first task in the relationship begins start to start dependencies don't require that both tasks start at the same time they simply require that the first task has begun in order for the second task to begin now let us see the next type of dependency we will link the next two tasks to demonstrate a finish to finish dependency if one of your tasks can't finish until another one finishes you can use a finish to finish dependency between them finish to finish dependencies don't require that 
both tasks be completed simultaneously. They simply require that the first task be finished in order for the second task to finish. The second task can finish any time after the first task finishes. Now we have linked these two tasks. The last type of link is the start to finish dependency. When you use this type of dependency, you are saying that the second task in the relationship can't finish until the first task starts. However, the second task can finish any time after the first task starts. This reverses the time order of the two tasks. You should not be using this dependency very often and you should carefully evaluate this type of link if you are required to use this. I will link the last two tasks with an SF dependency and you can see how this looks. SS FF and finally SF links.